Hello beautiful friends, my name is Brittany. Welcome back or welcome to Rescues and Reads. So we are in a bit of a different setup today because I am going to be doing a bookshelf scavenger hunt Christmas edition. So I got the idea for this video as well as all of the prompts from Haley and Bookland. So I will be sure to leave her channel and the videos down below. I believe there are about 10 or 11 prompts here and I have to try to see if I can find the books corresponding to the prompts on my bookshelf. I'm not sure how chaotic this is going to be. So let's go ahead and see what I can do. So challenge number one is to find a book that is set at Christmas. And I actually have a bunch of those because I recently did a major haul full of a bunch of books that are set at Christmas. So I'm just going to grab a couple. Okay, so first I grabbed Christmas by the book by Anne Marie Ryan, The Christmas Wish by Lindsay Elk, and The Twelve Dates of Christmas by Jenny Bayless. All of these of course are set at Christmas. The next challenge is to find five books with cold words. So words that are related to cold. Okay I got at least one. A Blizzard of Polar Bears by Alice Henderson. This is the second book in her Dr. Alex Carter series. Blizzard is obviously very cold. Winter Garden by Kristen Hanna. This is a historical fiction by Kristen Hanna and it's got winter in the title. Winter of course being cold hopefully. A Court of Frost and Starlight by Sarah J Mass. Frost being cold. The Book of Cold Cases by Simone St. James. And One Day in December by Josie Silver. Now I know December is not a cold month for everybody especially if you are in the southern hemisphere but here in the northern hemisphere December is typically pretty cold so I'm gonna go with it. Challenge number three is to find a book with with both red and green on the cover and actually I think 12 Dates of Christmas has it. Hold on. Yeah so it's got green right here and red but since I've already shown this let me see if I can find another one. In Holidays by Christina Lauren has red and green on the cover. Challenge number four is a book that features a character with a festive name and actually yes. Hold on. Once Upon a December by Amy E. Reichardt. It This actually also has red and green and the main character her name is Astra Noel Snow so I feel like that is a very festive name. Five is to find a festive object and I actually don't think I have any festive objects on my bookshelves. I didn't decorate my bookshelves. I decorated other places in my home but I don't actually have anything specifically for my bookshelves but let me see what I have. Okay so the only real thing I could find was this stuffy. I got him from PetSmart in 2014. They typically have this like bin where you can buy one of these and the donations go to like animal rescues and charities and things of that nature and I've just had this guy for many many years. A lot of the stuffies that I do still have here as an adult are on my bookshelves at some place so he was just there so I'm gonna count him. Challenge number six is to find a book with baking in it. So I think... To All the Boys I've Loved Before by Jenny Han. This features baking in it because Laura Jean is a baker. She likes to bake with her family. Challenge number seven is to find a book that has a wintry scene on the cover and I definitely have a lot of those in like the ones that I've already shown but I'm gonna try to find some different ones. Oh I have the perfect one. Hold on. I actually just recently did a video of my favorite wintry isolation thrillers and some of them definitely have wintry scenes on the cover. No Exit by Taylor Adams. This shows a very snowy wintry highway situation. And then Rock Paper Scissors by Alice Feeney. That is like just nothing but snow and trees. You can't really get more wintry than that. Challenge number eight is to find a book with silver and gold on it. So this that's just gold. Gold and black. Okay so this might work. So there's definitely gold and then the writing. Oh I don't know. That's like a that's like a whitish green. Oh let's see if I can do better. Gold and black. Okay so I'm gonna cheat a little bit here. So Strange the Dreamer by Lainey Taylor has this beautiful gold foiling and then its sequel Muse of Nightmares has silver foiling but also it's got like this orange yellow golden color on the background. So I think that could count right? Ooh, I actually found a really good one. So the special edition of The Invisible Life of Addie LaRue, it's got gold foiling and then this is like gray silver all along the cover. So I found one. Challenge number nine is a book that was a gift. Nevermore The Trials of Morgan Crow by Jessica Townsend. I'm a part of a monthly Facebook gifting group and so this was what was sent to me in I believe it was November. So I'm gonna go ahead and count this. Challenge number 10 is to find a book title that describes how Christmas shopping feels. Okay that's interesting. This might take me a minute. <laughs> I'm gonna go with The Survivors by Jane Harper because I feel like after successfully Christmas shopping you do feel like you've survived something pretty harrowing. All right and then the final challenge is to spell Santa with books. So let's go. S S S. Okay. Six of Crows. A A A. Assassin's Apprentice. And we have Nevernight. T T T T T. Glass. A um a a a a a. Ooh, 
I can just do this all from this one shelf, y'all. S-A-N-T-A. -A. Okay, so we got Santa. C. L, 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 L. L. A. U. Oh, let's move you a little Mia Corvier. S, 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 S. Sunday Motel and E. E, 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 E. Okay. Emmy and Oliver. Okay, so I think I might have been blocking that a little bit, but here's what we've got. Six of Crows for S, Arch Enemies for A, Nevernight for N, Throne of Glass for T, Assassin's Apprentice for A, Cricket Kingdom for C, The Love Hypothesis for L, All These Beautiful Strangers for A, U is for Undertow for U, The Sunday Motel for S, Emmy and Oliver for E. All right, y'all, that is it. That is my bookshelf scavenger hunt Christmas edition. I hope that y'all enjoyed. This was a lot of fun and it was a little bit more challenging than I was expecting it to be. If you've ever done this challenge before or if you plan on doing it in the future, please be sure to leave your video links down below. I would love to go see because this was a lot of fun. And as always, if you like this video or if you just like me, please be sure to give it a big thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already because I would sure love to see you in my next video. Bye guys.